Seven EMS paramedics have been forced to resign from their part-time jobs in a mountain county. News 13's Ashley Searles is with us live from the Rutherford News Center this evening. Ashley, their second jobs were with these local rescue squads. That's right. They were doing essentially the same thing at both jobs, and the county says that may be a problem. Thanksgiving week, seven first responders were forced to resign from their jobs at Chief Allen Emery's Rutherford County Rescue Squad. They have told us that they had to choose that if they stayed here, then they would be terminated from their jobs with EMS. The employees work full time as paramedics for the county and worked for the rescue squad as a part time job. Surrounding counties do the same thing. I mean, you know, Cleveland County, Burke County, Polk County. I mean, you know, that's just that's just history. I mean. County EMS employees work for rescue squads. Carrie Giles runs the EMS system here. We have to stop employees working at both organizations because of the amount of liability uh, and overtime that it would cost the county. Giles says two weeks ago the county's attorney pointed out that the Federal Labor Board could consider EMS and the rescue squad as one organization because the jobs are similar and the county pays a tenth of the squad's budget. That would mean anything over 40 hours cumulatively would have to be paid as overtime. We realize that this affects almost all of their employees, and so we are doing everything we can to be looking at ways around this issue. The county hasn't contacted the Labor Board to see if there is a violation, and Giles says she hasn't called any of the other nearby EMS agencies that allow dual employment. We announced it on Monday, and I was off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So The county's decision comes as a blindside to Emory, but it also comes weeks after he hired an attorney to look into a lawsuit against the county after he says it violated its contract with his squad. I think that's caused a lot of stress between county EMS and us, but, you know, we had to do it just to get their attention, say, hey, we're just wanting to survive. That's all we're trying to do. That's all we're trying to do. The county says this may not be a permanent policy. The Labor Board could take a look at it and say there's no problem here. But especially given that the county hasn't made the Labor Department aware of this situation, there is no timeline. Reporting live in the Rutherford News Center, Ashley Searles, News 13.